Hi, that was the start I wasn't expecting. Just as we were about to start, and the heaters fire up and make all that noise. And, oh. Anyway, welcome, welcome to Family Time. It's lovely to, to be with you. I don't have the computer in front of me at the moment, so I can't see who's joined us. Mine will shout out um, a few names as, as you come in. Um, so, anyone in the moment? Amy. Amy. Amy's here with us. I saw Sandra. Yep. Sandra was here. Um, Sandra, Amy. Karen and Louise, Ken is with us again this morning. Oh, fantastic. So Alexander hopefully is there as well. Ethan and Emily. Brilliant. You're all with us this morning. Thank you for being with us. Shall we pray as we begin? Becky's with us too. Who is? Becky. Becky's, Becky's with us too. Ready as well. That's, yeah. That's quite good. That's good. Quick to get home and be on and everything. Wonderful to welcome us all as God's family. God, thank you for being with us this morning and for leading us, for being there with us and for us and for loving us. And may we know your presence with us as we think about your, your love for us today. Amen. Amen. Okay, so today is Valentine's Day. I'm not going to concentrate on Valentine's Day too much, but of course that does think about love, doesn't it? And we think much more about God's love than and his ultimate love for all of us. And we are about to step in this week into a period of time where we're building up to the ultimate act of God's love for us, which was Easter. So I'm sure you already know which, which week we're heading into this week. It begins with Shrove Tuesday, Pancake Day. Oh, Marlene's behind the camera going, let, let, Lent, that's it. You knew it already. You knew it. So Lent actually begins on Ash Wednesday, and I thought we could think a little bit about Lent this week. And uh, and about what Lent means. Now, Pancake Tuesday, Shrove Tuesday, was all about using up your, your, the last off, the rich foods in your cupboard before going into a time of fasting, of not eating rich foods, getting ready for the feast, the celebration of Easter. Obviously, we don't do that so much these days. We still have pancakes, but we probably still have um, some aspects of, we still use eggs and all that sort of thing during the jury led. But um, it is a time of thinking about uh, some people will give up something, some people give up chocolate on the basis you're going to get a load of chocolate on Easter Sunday, maybe. Um, but the main thing behind Lent is getting closer to God, of wanting to know God that little bit better. So this week we are going to do a little bit of, I'm not going to reveal anything yet, going to do a little bit of cooking. Hopefully cooking. So I need to go and wash my hands. I'm going to bring my chair over now so that I can sit down in a minute. But I'll wash my hands and I'll be back in a second. So obviously doing the right thing, washing hands, making sure that the hands are clean, that the table has been cleaned, we'll wipe that down. The water is very hot. Dry the hands. So, because as we come down now, we are going to make some pretzels. Now, you know pretzels, of course, with, with pretzels. Um, apparently, they are something very common for Lent in some traditions. Because if you think about them, their arms could be seen as praying across your... Um, you, so your arms are crossed over your... so your hands are touching your shoulders. And in a way, you've got that kind of pretzel shape. And some people think that the pretzel was designed by a monk many, many centuries ago in, in the style of praying hands. Maybe that's a style that people prayed in, in that day. Um, but we're going to think a little bit about doing pretzels today. Now, I'm doing a cheat, quick version. Um, there are plenty of recipes online for pretzels. They all involve, or the majority of them involve yeast, and I thought, how long do you want to spend on family time today while we have some yeast rising over? So we're not, we're not doing that. What we're doing is self-raising flour and seeing how we go. So into my bowl, actually, if we fade that, I can do that. A lovely thing that we have on cookery shows where we go, so we've got some sugar 
we've got some flour, we've got some butter, an egg, and a pinch of salt. So I'm going to put my flour into the bowl. Now this is about 100 grams of self-raising flour. And with that, I'm going to put 30 grams of butter. Wait, come back. That's quite hard. That's going to take a bit longer. I hoped it would do it for longer. What I need to do is, as you're making a crumb, really, get your fingers in there and mix all the flour and the butter together so that it forms, in a way, a little bit like breadcrumbs. Yes, I probably should put an apron on for proper food safety standards and everything, but um, uh, we're going to be eating these, um, so hopefully that gets me out of it. I'm not doing these ones for public consumption, otherwise I would do. But of course it would also protect uh, my shirt from flour. But that might be a good comedy moment later on, but we'll see if that happens. So, what we do is we, we get the butter mixed in with the flour, and just to get it all a bit like breadcrumbs. It's going to be a bit longer, making lots of rattling noise while I do it. Now, when we think about Lent, it's a time of preparation. It's a time of preparing our hearts and minds ready for the celebration of Easter. And like I said, some people give up things. Um, some people give up chocolate. Some people give up TV. Some people, well, they, they do all sorts of things. And that's all good, unless it takes over your thinking. Because what should happen, I remember one year I gave up chocolate all the way through there. And overall it worked. There were some days where I was just desperate for a sweet and some chocolate. But actually most of the time what happened was when I wanted the chocolate, it made me think of God. It, instead of thinking, oh, I just want to go and buy a bar of whatever your favourite whatever my favourite chocolate was then, it actually made me stop and think, ah, I'm doing this to think about God. And so actually it really helped me in getting closer to God because I spent a lot more time thinking about God because I didn't have chocolate. So some people do give up stuff. Some people take on more things like trying to read the Bible more. Um, and one thing that I think is really important we need to do is to pray. So we can pray more as we go through Lent. Even if it's just remembering to say uh, um, a prayer, asking for God for help for the day in the morning, and in the evening, we can say thank you, God, for all that we've had during the day. So there's lots of different things that we can uh, do during Lent to, to help us get to know God a bit better. Okay, I'm going to say that that is as good as I'm going to get it. So, not quite breadcrumbs, there's a few bits of butter left over, but I am doing a bit of a rush job so that we get it done in time. Actually, there's a couple of big bits of butter, I'll just uh, quickly make those a bit smaller. And overall, I think I'm mixing a lot of the flour. Now, what we need now is some sugar. Now, this is only about a tablespoon of sugar, um, and that just helps to sweeten it, obviously. Um, if you, when, when you come to eat them, but you could always put a little bit of um, some bread, of butter, extra butter or jam on it, or whatever, and we'll see what they look like later. And in here, you might not be able to see that too well, because it's all stuck to the sides. There is a pinch of salt, so I'm not going to put all of that in, but just a pinch of salt, and mix all that up, just with my hand. So that's all mixed in. And then, we're going to put an egg in. Now, when I was making this, it's quite funny because I tested these yesterday and I saw that there was an egg in the ingredients. And they talked about pouring milk in. I thought, well, where, where's the egg? You must have an egg in it. So I simply went crack, put the egg in, and it's only when I read the instructions later I discovered that the egg was to glaze the uh, pretzels, not to be in the mixture at all. But actually, I really liked what happened when I did it. So, I'm mixing the egg in with all the, all the flour. I'm going to get my hand in there in a minute. And I do have a little bit of milk, just in case it's, which I don't think I'll need. But let's see. Obviously, water over from a normal milk bottle, just a little bit. 
just in case. Okay, now let me do this so you can see that. Um, actually, I think this will be just about right because you're supposed to be pliable without being too sticky. And that is still a bit sticky, but I think it's okay. Right. Now let's get this all molded together. And leaving the little bits that are falling off the side, I'll leave them up there. A little bit sticky, but I think I'll get away with it. I hope I will. So, what we need to do then is, now if it is too sticky, you can always just put a little bit more flour in as well, just to take away some of the stickiness. Actually, this is quite sticky. But let's see how we get on. You know what, I think, Molly, if you don't mind, could bring a bit of the flour over. I'm just going to pour a little bit of flour in this one with my sticky hands. Fortunately, near the end of the, um, near the, end of the, the flour bag, so it doesn't matter that I'm putting my sticky fingers on that. Right. I think this is feeling, yes, this is feeling a bit better. Feeling like I can actually manipulate it a bit better. Let's get that worked through though, so it's not all floury. Excellent. Good. Right, so this, Really, this, this mixture only makes about six, um, six of these pretzels that we're developing. So uh, that's half, we're going to do a little bit there. Mi Oop. Take a little bit of that one. Like that. And mix that together. And that's another one. So let's see how we get on with this. So what I'm doing is putting this aside and bringing this board over now. And what you need to do is just roll it into a thin, almost, almost like a rope, I suppose. And, oh, that's breaking a little bit. So the beauty of this, it is a bit of a cakey sort of mixture, but it is quite pliable. Just working that a little bit to get it going there. So, and then, what you need to do is just have the, bring the mixture over, just going to, and then make it into a sort of a pretzel shape like that. Okay, hopefully you can see that. And actually when it's in that form, you can see the sort of thing of the, the praying hands. It looks a little bit like the praying hands like that. So that's nice and sticky. You can see it's sticky enough. And just lift it gently and put it on my um, pan, ready to go in the oven. So, um, oven about 180 degrees for about 10 minutes. You, you, can, you can work it out for yourself. So I could do lots more. I'm not going to do all of them, you'll be pleased to know. But just start a couple so you can see they do work. And yet you did need that little bit of flour in there just to stop it being too sticky. Okay, so just gentle rolling out. They will all look slightly different. Well, they will in my world. Um, if you're doing a proper one with yeast and everything, you'll be able to work with a much better dough. But there, that's not too bad. That's working okay. And of course, the beauty of the pretzel, I'll talk about them in a second, because what I'm going to do is quickly just Wash my hands again to be health and safety because I'm going to show you a pre cooked one in a second. So, excuse me a moment. So we have our pretzels in the making and the mixture. And like I said, we did do a few samples last night just to see what they came out like. And not perfect, but as a, a thing to help us remember why we go through Lent and to remind us to pray, I think they work quite well. And a good excuse to make a, it, it's, it's almost like a, um, a, a 
pastry cake in a way. And what I do love with these is that if you see, first of all, you've got that, that sort of praying hands thing. But also, if you think about God, we know that God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And so we've got one God, but we've got three bits where we can rem remind ourselves that God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So it's a good reminder for that as well. Praying hands and God the Trinity. So I think I should break it so you can see. Ooh, that's nice and soft. See, it's a little bit cake-like inside, quite soft. But because we've put the sugar in, it does still taste. Mmm. That's quite nice actually. Mmm. Personally, I'll put a little bit more butter on it, because I like butter. And I'll put jam, because there's a little bit more sugar there. Mmm. Mmm. Well, you know what? That's really quite nice. I will definitely be eating those later. Sharing them with the family, of course, but um, definitely worth eating. So, if you get to make that, like I say, there's plenty of recipes on, online, ones with yeast, which will take a lot longer and everything. This is a very quick version. But, mm, excuse me, big. As a symbol to help us think about what it means to go into Lent, to pray, to get closer to God, I hope this will help you. Maybe you've thought about it already, maybe you haven't thought about Lent. And this is a time now where you can think, what should I do this Lent to get closer to God? If nothing else, just spend that little bit more time maybe reading the Bible and pray, and God will meet you before you're even halfway there. So, so we pray as we finish. Lord, we thank you that you are with us, that as our pretzels remind us of um, our arms in prayer, may we feel your arms around us, holding us through this time of this pandemic, through our, our lives in general, and as we go into half term, that we will know that you are close to us day by day. And as we go through Lent, that we, that we will draw closer to you as you pull us closer with your arms around us. Amen. Amen. So, I think, actually, if I take this one away, because it will ruin the look on, on the plate, I don't think the plate will look so good with, with, with the plate. If I leave it like that, then it looks better, doesn't it? So I'd better take these ones away. Have a great week. God bless. Bye for now.